ulcers are sores that can develop in different parts of the body. Gastric ulcers, or stomach ulcers, develop in the lining of the stomach. They are very common, affecting between 2.4 to 6.1% of the population. Various factors that disrupt the balance your stomach's environment can cause them. The most common is an infection caused by the helicobacter bile or a bacteria. Other common causes include stress, smoking, excess alcohol consumption and the overuse of anti-inflammatory medications, such as aspirin and ibuprofen. Conventional anti-ulcer treatment typically relies on medications that can cause negative side effects like headaches and diarrhea. For this reason, interest in alternative remedies has steadily risen and been fueled by both medical professionals and individuals with ulcers alike. This video lists 11 scientifically backed natural ulcer remedies. 1. Cabbage Juice Cabbage is a popular natural ulcer remedy. Doctors reportedly used it decades before antibiotics were available to help heal stomach ulcers. It's rich in vitamin C, an antioxidant shown to help prevent and treat H. bile or A infections. These infections are the most common cause of stomach ulcers. In fact, several animal studies show that cabbage juice is effective at treating and preventing a wide range of digestive ulcers, including those affecting the stomach. In humans, Early studies observed that daily consumption of fresh cabbage juice appeared to help heal stomach ulcers more effectively than the conventional treatment used at the time. In one study, 13 participants suffering from stomach and upper digestive tract ulcers were given around 1 quart 946 milliliters, of fresh cabbage juice throughout the day. On average, these participants' ulcers healed after 7 to 10 days of treatment. This is 3.5 to 6 times faster than the average healing time reported in previous studies in those who followed a conventional treatment. In another study, the same quantity of fresh cabbage juice was given to 100 participants with stomach ulcers, most of whom had previously received conventional treatment with no success. 81% were symptom-free within a week. However, Researchers have yet to identify its exact recovery promoting compounds, and no recent studies could be identified. Moreover, neither of these early studies had a proper placebo, which makes it difficult to know for certain that the cabbage juice is what produced the effect. 2. Licorice. Licorice is a spice native to Asia and the Mediterranean region. It comes from the dried root of the Glyceriza glabra plant and is a popular traditional herbal medicine used to treat many conditions. Some studies report that licorice root may have ulcer-preventing and ulcer-fighting properties. For instance, licorice may stimulate the stomach and intestines to produce more mucus, which helps protect the stomach lining. The extra mucus may also help speed up the healing process and help reduce ulcer-related pain. Researchers further report that certain compounds found in licorice may prevent the growth of H. pylori. However, studies are generally based on the use of these compounds in supplement form. Thus, it's unclear how much dried licorice root someone would need to consume to experience the same beneficial effects. Dried licorice root should not be confused with licorice-flavored sweets or candy. Licorice candy is unlikely to produce the same effects and is generally very high in sugar. Additionally, some studies report no effect, so using licorice as an ulcer remedy may not work in all cases. Licorice may also interfere with certain medications and cause side effects, such as muscle pain or numbness in the extremities. Consider speaking to your healthcare practitioner before increasing the licorice content of your diet. 3. Honey. Honey is an antioxidant-rich food linked to a variety of health benefits. These include improved eye health and a reduced risk of heart disease, stroke and even certain types of cancer. Honey also appears to prevent the formation and promote the healing of many wounds, including ulcers. Moreover, scientists believe that honey's antibacterial properties can help fight H. pylori, one of the most common causes of stomach ulcers. Several animal studies provide support for honey's ability to reduce the risk of developing ulcers, as well as healing time. However, human studies are needed. 
4. Garlic. Garlic is another food with antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. Animal studies observe that garlic extracts may speed up recovery from ulcers and even reduce the likelihood of them developing in the first place. What's more, lab, animal and human studies all report that garlic extracts may help prevent H. bile or A. growth, one of the most common causes of ulcers. In a recent study, eating two cloves of raw garlic per day for three days helped significantly reduce bacterial activity in the stomach lining of patients suffering from H. bile or A. infection. However, not all studies were able to reproduce these results and more are needed before strong conclusions can be made. 5. Turmeric. Turmeric is a South Asian spice used in many Indian dishes. It's easily recognizable by its rich yellow color. Curcumin, turmeric's active ingredient, has been attributed to medicinal properties. These range from improved blood vessel function to reduced inflammation and heart disease risk. What's more, curcumin's anti-ulcer potential has recently been studied in animals. It appears to have immense therapeutic potential, especially in preventing damage caused by H. bile or A. infections. It may also help increase mucus secretion, effectively protecting the stomach's lining against irritants. Limited studies have been done in humans. One study gave 25 participants 600 mg of turmeric five times per day. Four weeks later, ulcers had healed in 48% of participants. After 12 weeks, 76% of participants were ulcer-free. In another, individuals who tested positive for H. bile or A were given 500 mg of turmeric four times per day. After four weeks of treatment, 63% of participants were ulcer-free. After eight weeks, this amount increased to 87%. That said, neither of these studies used a placebo treatment, which makes it difficult to know whether the turmeric is what caused the participants' ulcers to heal. Thus, more research is needed. 6. Mastic. Mastic is a resin obtained from the Pistacea landiscus tree, more commonly known as the mastic tree. Other common names for mastic include Arabic gum, Yemen gum and tears of Kios. The mastic tree generally grows in the Mediterranean region, and its sap can be dried into pieces of brittle translucent resin. When chewed, this resin softens into a white opaque gum with a pine-like flavor. Mastic has long been used in ancient medicine to treat various gut disorders, including stomach ulcers and Crohn's disease. More recently, Animal studies report that it may act as a potent natural ulcer remedy. Additionally, research in 38 participants suffering from ulcers reports that daily consumption of 1 gram of mastic led to a 30% greater reduction in ulcer-related symptoms than the placebo. By the end of the two-week study period, ulcers were healed in 70% of the participants in the mastic group versus only 22% of those in the placebo group. Mastic appears to have antibacterial activity against H. bile or A as well. In one recent study, intake of 350 mg of mastic gum three times a day for 14 days eradicated H. bile or A infections 7 to 15 percent more effectively than the conventional treatment. Although this finding has not been universally observed in all studies, long-term mastic consumption is generally considered safe. Thus, it might be worth testing it out for yourself. Mastic can be found at most health food stores either as a gum or powdered supplement. 7. Chili Peppers. There's a popular notion among people suffering from ulcers that eating chili peppers too often or in large quantities may cause stomach ulcers. In fact, people suffering from ulcers are often advised to limit their consumption of chili peppers or to avoid them completely. However, Recent research shows that these peppers are unlikely to cause ulcers and may actually help get rid of them. That's because chili peppers contain capsaicin, an active ingredient that appears to reduce stomach acid production and enhance blood flow to the stomach lining. Both of these factors are thought to help prevent or heal ulcers. The capsaicin found in chili peppers may also help increase mucus production which can coat the stomach lining and protect it from injury. Most, although not all, 
animal studies show beneficial effects. However, few human studies could be found. Also, note that the animal studies above used capsaicin supplements rather than whole chili peppers. In at least one study, such supplements led to more intense gastric pain in certain individuals. Therefore, it may be best to stick to the whole food and adjust your intake based on your personal tolerance. 8. Aloe Vera Aloe vera is a plant widely used in the cosmetic, pharmaceutical and food industries. It is widely known for its antibacterial and skin healing properties. Interestingly, aloe vera may also be an effective remedy against stomach ulcers. In one study, aloe vera consumption significantly reduced the amount of stomach acid produced in rats suffering from ulcers. In another study in rats, aloe vera had ulcer healing effects comparable to omeprazole, a common anti-ulcer medication. However, few studies have been done in humans. In one, a concentrated aloe vera drink was used to successfully treat 12 patients with stomach ulcers. In another study, taking antibiotics with 1.4 mg slash pound, 3 mg slash kg, of aloe vera daily for six weeks was as effective as the conventional treatment at healing ulcers and reducing H. bile or A levels. Aloe vera intake is considered generally safe and the above studies show some promising results. However, more studies in humans are needed. 9. Probiotics Probiotics are live microorganisms that offer an array of health effects. Their benefits range from improving the health of your mind to the health of your gut, including its ability to prevent and fight ulcers. Although the way this works is still being investigated, probiotics seem to stimulate the production of mucus, which protects the stomach lining by coating it. They may also promote the formation of new blood vessels, which eases transport of healing compounds to the site of the ulcer and speeds up the healing process. Interestingly, probiotics may play a direct role in preventing H. bile or A infections. Moreover, these beneficial bacteria appear to enhance conventional treatment efficiency by around 150%, all while reducing diarrhea and other antibiotic-related side effects by up to 47%. The dose required for maximum benefits is still being researched. That said, most of the studies above report benefits after taking 200 million to 2 billion colony forming units CFU, for 2 to 16 weeks. Probiotic rich foods tend to provide less colony forming units per portion than supplements, but they are worth adding to your diet nonetheless. Good sources include pickled vegetables, tempeh, miso, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut and kombucha. 10. Cranberry. Cranberry has been shown in some studies to help decrease urinary tract infections by preventing bacteria from settling on the walls of the bladder. Cranberry and cranberry extract also may help fight H. pylori. You can drink cranberry juice, eat cranberries, or take cranberry supplements. No specific amount of consumption is associated with relief. Too much cranberry in any form may cause stomach and intestinal discomfort due to its high sugar content, so start with small amounts and increase gradually. Many commercial cranberry juices are heavily sweetened with sugar or high fructose corn syrup, which can also add empty calories. Avoid those juices by buying juice sweetened only by other juices. Foods to avoid just like some foods can help prevent ulcers from forming or help them heal faster, some have the exact opposite effect. Those trying to heal their stomach ulcers or avoid developing them should consider minimizing their intake of the following foods, milk, although once recommended to help reduce stomach acidity and relieve pain, new research shows milk increases the secretion of stomach acid and should be avoided by those with ulcers. Alcohol Alcohol consumption can cause damage to the stomach and digestive tract, increasing the likelihood of ulcers. Coffee and soft drinks, coffee and soft drinks, even if they're decaf, can increase production of stomach acid, which can irritate the stomach lining. Spicy and fatty foods, extremely spicy or fatty foods can create feelings of irritation in some people. Chili peppers are an exception, based on personal tolerance. 
In addition to avoiding the foods above, consuming small meals at regular times, snacking throughout the day, eating slowly and chewing your food well can help reduce pain and promote healing.